Did you know scientists believe that 240 million years ago, all seven continents were all one big landmass? Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we'll be learning about plate tectonics theory. The Earth has different layers which can be categorized as compositional or structural layers. A compositional layer is what each layer is made up of, while the structural layer is how each layer physically behaves. The compositional layer consists of the crust, mantle, and core, while the structural layer consists of the lithosphere, asthenosphere, the mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. If you look at the map of the world, you'll notice that the coasts of several continents seem to fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. In the early 1900s, a German scientist, Alfred Wegener, theorized that about 240 million years ago, all seven continents were part of one gigantic land mass called the Pangaea. Then about 200 million years ago, the Pangaea started to break apart in a process called continental drift. And over the course of millions of years, the seven continents were formed, which we now see on maps today. However, scientists were skeptical of Wegener's theory, but new geological discoveries brought forth evidence that backed up Wegener's ideas. First, scientists discovered that hot magma would rise through the cracks in the oceanic crust. The magma would then cool down and form new rocks or land. This was evidence that our planet is constantly reshaping and reforming from beneath, making Wegener's theory more credible. Second, Wegener gave the idea of plates. The Earth's lithosphere is not a smooth shell. Instead, it's a collection of pieces. Each piece of the lithosphere has a different shape, size, and thickness. These are called plates. Scientists plotted the locations of distant earthquakes and volcanoes around the world and found that they form a similar pattern to the outline of the plates. Third, scientists found fossils of tropical animals and plant species in Africa and other places. This gave more credibility to Wegener's idea of a Pangaea in which Africa was once part of a more enormous continent. Today, Wegener's work is the foundation of plate tectonics theory. According to this theory, the lithospheric plates are constantly moving. This movement is really slow, about 1 to 2 inches each year, and causes a shifting of continents, earthquakes, and the formation of mountains, volcanoes, mid-ocean ridges, and rift valleys. The lithospheric plates move in different ways, and the point at which they meet and interact are called boundaries. There are three types of tectonic boundaries. Convergent boundaries are where two plates are moving toward each other. When the two plates run into each other, one of two things can happen. First, the denser and heavier oceanic crust dives beneath the continental crust into the mantle. Under high pressure and heat, the crust melts into magma and rises up forming volcanoes. An example of this is the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a continuous zone of active volcanoes boring the Pacific coastline. Second, two continental crust plates run into each other and the rock above the boundary is lifted up or folded, forming mountains. An example of this is the Himalayas, where the Indo-Australian plate is colliding with the Eurasian plate. Convergent boundaries also cause earthquakes in land and oceans. When the plates run into each other, the pressure beneath the plates gradually builds up, causing a quick and violent impact on the crust. Divergent boundaries are where two plates are moving away from one another on the ocean floor. They create mid-ocean ridges like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge on land. They create rifts or canyons like the Great Rift Valley in East Africa. Transform boundaries where two plates are sliding past one another in opposite directions. This movement creates cracks in the Earth's crust. And as the plates rub against each other, this builds up the pressure at the cracks. If the plates get stuck in one place for a long time, the pressure keeps building up and is suddenly released, causing an earthquake. The San Andreas Fall is the largest transformed boundary. Let's review what we just learned. Earth's compositional layer includes the crust, mantle, and core. Earth's structural layer includes the lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere, inner core, and outer core. Alfred Wegener gave the theory of continental drift, where the Pangaea broke up and drifted apart. This theory was the foundation of the plate tectonics theory. The lithosphere is not a uniform shell. It is a collection of pieces of different sizes and shapes called plates. 
the lithospheric plates are constantly moving in different ways, and the point at which the plates meet are called boundaries. Convergent boundaries are where two plates are moving toward each other, creating volcanoes, mountains, and causing earthquakes. Divergent boundaries are where two plates are moving away from each other, creating mid-ocean ridges, rifts, and canyons. Transform boundaries are where two plates are sliding against each other, causing earthquakes.